So you know that guy on YouTube that does the documentaries of the um, Genesis albums? Well, he recently did one for And Then There Were Three, and I thought, I'm going to listen to that record again, and I'm going to remind myself of what I like about that record, specifically Deep in the Motherlode, Down and Out, Snowbound, Follow You. But I also wanted to remind myself of, of like, what are the low points of this record? What are the parts of this record that I, that bother me? And what I found out was that there's actually, like, a little thing in a lot of the songs that bother me, but no more than Ballad of Big. And that's what I want to talk about today. Ballad of Big from And Then There Were Three, which is the third track. Interestingly, I actually think that Follow You, Follow Me is in such a weird place in this record. Such a weird place. It's a powerful song. It's a beautiful song. It changed their career. It's one of my favorite Genesis songs. But why is it last? I feel like it should be third. So when Ballad of Big comes on, I just feel like, why didn't they put follow you, follow me in this slot. It would make a lot of sense. So the intro, I want to talk about the two good things about this song. The intro is really cool. It kind of reminds me of something we would maybe hear like in, in Duke Sweet a little bit. I think it's really good, but then it comes into the down. Da, 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 da. Oh my gosh. It's just so weird. Um, the intro is really good. There is a melody in the chorus, even though the lyric, he must be mad. That is like, not great or the melody for the part like even though i don't like the choruses of uh, the lyrics of the chorus i do like that chorus that the keyboard part that down 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 i think that part's really good and that's kind of reminds me of the whole album is that there are moments where i'm like oh, this is a nice song and then it has something that kind of bothers me i can't think of other examples right now but when i was listening today to the whole album that happened a couple of times We'll talk about that whole album another day. There was somebody online, I was reading about it today, preparing for this, and I was, there was somebody who talked about how, like, they don't like it when Genesis does Americana. For some reason, even like today, Phil is obsessed with the Alamo, and there's something weird about these British blokes talking about American history, and yeah. I don't know. It always just kind of rubs me the wrong way. And I kind of like, this wasn't, this is something I've always felt to see somebody else kind of mention, like, you know, whether they're doing kind of an Americana sound. I even talked about that, why I don't love the roof is leaking. Not to say that British people have to play British music and aren't allowed a banjo here, here and there, or to write a song that's about a Western. But I don't know. I, I think that's what kind of bothers me a little bit too about this song. I don't know. Overall, I think it's one of the weakest songs. I think it is the weakest song on And Then There Were Three. I think it's the weakest song from that era. And I might say that it was pr probably be my top five least favorite Genesis songs of all time. But as I read people's comments online, and I'm curious to hear yours, um, there are always one or two people who pop up and say this is actually one of my favorite songs. And um, that's fine. And I would say that Follow You, Follow Me is my favorite song off of and then there were three and there's a lot of people who absolutely hate that song so i understand how it goes but let me know what you think of ballad of big and is there anything about this song that you like is there anything about this song that you dislike i'd love to hear thanks for watching